The challenges that I faced um, when settling down in Poland mainly for me is the language. I I watch a lot of um, foreign movies. I also did research. I watched a lot of YouTube videos before coming to Poland. So I already knew what to expect when I was coming. So it was not all new to me when I came into Poland. But the language till tomorrow, the language will be something <laughs> that will be new to me because i cannot know how to speak the language like the people that own the language i'm going to try my best to learn some words but for me it's still not going to be like um a language that you've learned right from where you were young learning a language as an adult is not something that is easy i think we all know that it's not something that is easy and another one is the weather. I've been used to the hot weather in Nigeria, even though I don't like it. But this cold is on another level. As you can see me, I'm putting on a sweater inside my room. And that is because it is cold. And we are not even in winter yet. This is autumn. And autumn is cold. So definitely winter is going to be freezing. Another challenge that I faced when I got to Poland was um, getting a job. There are student jobs available. But because of the way my department is structured, it is not easy to work and study. Um, I need to go for laboratory and there is a certain percentage that you must have before you can write the examination. And the way my department is again, so let's say this week, I have a laboratory this week. I'm going to have a test on the laboratory the following week. So if I should miss this week laboratory class, and i'm able to attend next week laboratory class and i wrote the test even if i have a hundred percent on the test the test is not going to count so for that mark to count i need to attend the laboratory and also write the test so that is one of the challenge that i faced i remember that when i got to poland the very first week that i entered poland i already got a job but when i saw my schedule i could not take the job because i needed to work for eight hours every day and i also have my classes to attend to so to me it doesn't make sense so i decided i was not going to pick up the job and instead i decided to face my study cultural shocks in poland i think this should be another video entirely cultural shocks in poland the first cultural shock i experienced in poland was when i got um to the airport when, when i got to the airport i knew i was supposed to buy a sim card i knew that i knew all the things that i was supposed to do in order to at least settle in for the first day but when i got to the airport i got to where i was going to buy sim card i already downloaded google um, translate on my phone i had google map on my phone because all this app was something that i never used while i was in nigeria um so i already have all these app all the important apps i downloaded uber i had both back in nigeria but i downloaded uber in addition so when i got to the airport i got to where i was supposed to buy the sim card i made use of my google translate there was wi-fi at the airport i told the attendant what I wanted and the attendant directed me to where I was supposed to go. The park was bigger than what I was used to in Nigeria. So in my mind, I thought it was um, SD card <laughs> because they wrote 800 gigabytes on the same park. So I thought that, oh, okay, maybe it's just SD card and that is the capacity of the sd card 800 gigabytes i did not know that it was sim card <laughs> that was there so i did not buy it because i could not communicate well to tell them that no it's sim card that i want and not sd card you know if i was able to communicate well the person would have told me that yeah it is sim card but because i could not communicate in polish that was how i didn't buy the sim card so i was able to use the airport wi-fi to book a boat ride to the train station from the train station, I got to where I was going to. So when I got to my stop in Poznan, I did not have internet connection and there was no Wi-Fi for me to use. And I needed to book a ride to my accommodation. So there was no means for me to do any of this. So I decided to take a taxi instead. In Nigeria, if you are taking a taxi, you are the only one there. 
driver is going to take you are going to agree on the amount that driver is going to take but here it is not so they use meter so i got in the taxi i had some money that i had changed i was not expecting to spend that much so i knew what i had what i exchanged at the airport was going to be enough for me but now i'm not making use of boats i'm not making use of uber so i took a taxi and when i got to where i was going so the driver just showed me what i was supposed to pay on the meter the money i had with me was not enough but thank god i am very sure the driver already knew that this one is jjc so he just allowed me to pay the amount i had with me and that was it i was grateful to god because i don't like embarrassments so if you are coming to poland or any country it is preferable that you make use of boat or uber ride when you get there instead of booking a taxi and about other cultural shocks i watched a lot of videos on youtube so i was prepared the food and everything i was open-minded that anything i'm able to get at the grocery store i'm going to make use of it i'm going to bring out something from whatever it is that they have so if they're eating mac and cheese and i don't know how to eat mac and cheese i'm going to convert the macaroni to what i know that i can eat if it's for me to make a stir fry with it i knew i was going to be fine when it comes to food i mean i love cooking i cook back at home so it's for me to just explore with whatever it is that they have and now i eat mashed potato very well so when you're coming to a new country just be open-minded do a lot of research and you will not be shocked that's just it you are shocked because you are not prepared for what is coming but if you are prepared for what is coming you won't be shocked the top things that you need to prepare before moving to a new country is your mind when you are coming to a new country come with an open mind and when we are talking about material things now when you are coming to a new country make sure you pack food if you have money to pay for extra luggage for food please pack it i miss a lot of nigerian food i mean i brought food when i was coming but this is one year i have my locals in the fridge what else do i have i still have my dry pepper i brought some cameroon pepper so those are just like the few things i still have left it was in august that i made use of my last bit of crayfish and smoked catfish that my mom bought for me so pack as much food as possible it's not that there is no food in the country that you're coming to depending on the weather of the country that you're moving to you also need to pack clothes that are suitable for the weather you see being in poland being in uk being in usa being in canada being on being in australia being in new zealand nobody is going to send the urgent to k if you are coming to poland as a student i would advise that you make use of your university accommodation it is easier to get it is less stressful to get it is more affordable compared to getting accommodation outside then when you now get in and you see that the accommodation is not for you maybe you are not okay with the accommodation you want something bigger you can make use of olx.pl to search for accommodations one of the financial tips i'm going to give is that look out for yourself first you don't have to be selfish you don't have to be stingy but look out for yourself first the important things that you need to have covered first is your accommodation your feeding and your clothing and when it comes to abroad here yeah, there are a lot of thrift stores so as you are buying new ones you can also buy thrifted ones you need to save for rainy days so you need to have savings so after taking care of your basic needs you have few money saved if you want to send money back home your family should be the number one people on your list and then any other people that you feel have a need and you should know that you cannot help everybody one way you can build a social network if you're a student is from the student body you can connect with people in whatever religious organization that you belong to the church i attend in poland after service we always stay back for either snack and sometimes we eat we talk we just you know all of those things and it's always interesting you cannot be friends with everybody you need to know that you 
I wouldn't say one thing that I wish I knew before coming abroad. I would say one thing that I wish I learned before coming to Poland would be learning a technical skill. And I don't mean knowing how to use Microsoft Word. Those are just like basic ICT skill. I mean, learning correct tech skills. While I was an undergrad, I learned how to build websites. I learned web designing. So one thing I wish I learned before coming to Poland was like learning a tech skill. Like I mean, being proficient in a technical skill because, because that would have given me better opportunities to apply for remote job. And that way, um, those remote jobs won't be able to affect my study. Especially if you're not working for a country that has a different time zone from yours. I have quite a number of resources for people that would like to study in Poland. So if you're planning to study in Poland, I have a series of videos that you can just watch. So if you are patient enough to watch these videos and take notes, you are going to apply by yourself. If you have any question about applying to a particular school, the best people to ask questions at the people in charge of the application process. They are the graduate program coordinator that you should send email to because they are in that school. They know what you are supposed to do. So they are the best people to send an email to. And these people always respond. If you want to apply to, let's say, Cornell University, and you're asking me that, okay, maybe you have this result, will, um, will my application be considered? You are not submitting your application to me. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So if you send the email to the program coordinator, they will be able to tell you that, okay, you can apply, you can do this, maybe you should do this in addition to this. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So utilize all the videos that I uploaded on my channel if you're planning to study in Poland. I know I'm supposed to still make like lots and lots of videos because for people watching, it's not only Poland that people want to go to. There are still people that want to go to like different, different countries. So just, just make use of the information that is available on my YouTube channel. Do your research on the internet also. And I wish you all the best in this journey. I have never regretted one day that that asked me why did you come to Poland. Anytime I remember where I am currently, even, even though I'm not where I want to be at the moment, I'm always grateful to God because anytime I look back, I'll be like, "Dara, see me, you are not where you were one year ago." So I came to Poland for my master's degree program, and during the whole processing, I applied for the Erasmus exchange program and currently I'm making my one year video in Poland in another country. If I look back at my postgraduate journey right from when I got in 200 level up till now, it can only be good because there are some things that I do without having a thought of, okay, this is what this thing is going to lead to. And now if I put the pieces together it was like i knew exactly what i was doing i knew what i wanted right there are some steps that i had taken that i never planned for but at the end of the day something good came out of it and i'm grateful that i came to poland because the visa that i have coming to poland give me the access to travel to over 20 countries and I've only been to one. I like traveling. I hope that you guys picked up one or two things that would be useful for you in your transition journey. Thank you for staying with me. Um, do not forget to like, do not forget to share, do not forget to subscribe. Ensure that you like the videos so that more people can also see my videos and also benefit from it. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.